First at four, Tulsa hosted a big celebration of women in aerospace and aviation today, drawing in students and professionals from across the state. Thanks for joining us on a Friday. I'm Tatum Gwynn. News on Six's Amy Slanchik has this story. We're here at Tulsa Tech's Riverside campus, a fitting place to celebrate the history of women in aviation and build momentum for the future in an industry that needs help. The sixth annual Women in Aviation and Aerospace Day featured speakers, lunch, and planes everywhere you look in the Tulsa Tech hangar. Aviation is a beautiful community. It's a family community. And I'm just so proud to be a part of it. Gigi Coleman is dressed from head to toe for the occasion, keeping the legacy of her great aunt Bessie Coleman alive. This is the medal that she was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame. Bessie was the first African American and Native American female to become a pilot. She had to move to France to learn to fly, was later known for performing in air shows, and died in 1926 in a plane crash. She was an inspiration to everybody, not just to go into aviation, but to do whatever you want to in life. And she never took no for an answer. Wow, I feel like I'm at a concert. <laughs> Sophomore Olivia Andrews is here with some of her classmates in the aviation program at Mustang High School. I want to be an astronaut. She's working toward her future and she's excited others are too. I love all the, seeing all the girls here from different schools, it like really just makes my heart melt because it's just, there's so few of us interested and I really want more in girls interested in this. The event put on by the Oklahoma Aeronautics Commission, the Tulsa International Airport and many others drew more than 800 people together. Women, we bring a lot to the table and so I feel like having the diversity, you have a lot of different minds, a lot of different perspectives and I think that's very important. With enthusiasm starting from the ground, they're ready for their dreams to take off. In Tulsa, Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.